Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Million here with you, your ministry firebrand provocateur, iconoclast, and resident heretic here at Dominion Fire. Welcome to the vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Continuing on my hustle. I want to see uh, how many days I can do this in a row. I'm pushing my limits now is what I'm saying. So I hope you're doing well today. I'm working in the studio doing my regular work and also to bring you a huge announcement. And what is that announcement? Well, for 2015, I took the entire year off from doing the podcast. Today, we've recorded our first episode in over a year, episode 63, which will debut on Friday, January, what is today, the 5th, 6th, 7th, but January 8th is when that'll uh, debut. So, get ready for that. Had a chance to talk today with Kevin Penner. He's up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, up in Canada, which sounds really cold, but my office is freezing right now, but... um. I'm sure he's a lot colder than I am. I don't know. The whole, the whole poles are shifting. I don't know. Apparently it's summertime up at the North Pole and it's cold here in Vegas. I can't figure that one out, but El Nino or something like that. Quite frankly, uh, we'll use a blanket. I don't care. We talked today on the show about his journey and things he's, he has seen. And on his first attempt, I won't give it away, but on his first attempt, he saw a crazy cool healing uh, as he was kind of like watching videos and of Curry Blake from JGLM. He, uh, Got some uh, inspiration to try something right then and there, and it was really cool how it worked out. So he had a couple of really fun stories and testimonies to share with us. And then we talked a lot about uh, grace versus legalism. Now, um, a lot of times the topic of grace makes the legalistic people very uncomfortable. And you'll hear aspersions being cast on it, such as, oh, that's that greasy grace stuff there. You can't have greasy grace with the Lord. And, you know, it's like, calm down, Jay Vernon, okay? Um, but... As my friend Tyler Johnson once said from uh, OneGlance.org, if you check him out, the dead raising guy, uh, Tyler once said, I like my grace so greasy you can fry chicken in it. And that's, uh, that's how I kind of look at it. You know, I also take that element of personal responsibility. Now, some people, some people abuse the, the topic of grace because they think they can just live however they want and do whatever they want. And it's all good because God's got grace. But I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, of course. Now, when I say grace being greasy, I mean that grace is really the power and the key to everything we do. I also believe that there's a huge element of personal responsibility that you got to keep yourself uh, in, in a good state. You got to keep yourself away from bad influences. You got to keep yourself thinking the right things. There is an element that you do have to do along with it. So I'm certainly not saying that just live however you want and grace will cover it. I'm saying that it's, it's really the power source by which that gives us everything we function in. And at the same time, you got to do your part too. God already did his part. Now you got to do your part. But, but, and this was kind of the overarching message of what we spoke about today, you can't get the kingdom and power of God flowing out of you through your efforts. Okay, so there's a fine, a fine line and a bit of a difference. When I talk about your personal responsibility, that's about keeping yourself in check and keeping your mind in the right place and your thoughts on the right thing. There is that part that you have to do. But when you go to minister healing for someone, that can't be your efforts. That's got to be that grace and that, that power flowing out of you. So I want you to be careful in making a distinction between the two because many times someone will say, well, I have grace, I can do whatever I want, and it's about me and this and that, and then no, it's not the case. And then there's other people where it's like, well, if you do this, you'll go, if you do this, you're going straight to hell. And I'm like, shut up. Killing me, man. Come on. So there is, you know, grace in that sense. But you also have to remember, don't abuse it because growth comes out of it. Okay? And when you take your personal responsibility and you learn to get yourself out of the way at the appropriate times, it's amazing to see how grace will flow and the cool things that it can do. So I invite you to check out on the website at dominionfire.com and also you should see it on Facebook at facebook.com slash dominionfire. You'll see me put it out there on this Friday coming up. And uh, make sure you check it out. Make sure you uh, send a message over to Kevin if you enjoyed the show and uh, follow up with any questions there with him as well. And if you have any trouble finding him, make sure you let me know and I will track him down for you and connect you guys up. So with that said, live in the grace, man. Uh, that's about it for today. Going to get back to work. Going to get the show processed and finished out for you. And i uh, going to keep creating content to encourage you guys and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So for the DeFire Vlog, this is Million Out. I'll see you next time.